Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the clouds. A weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than histories of men have been written down. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Four prisoners, bound by heavy chains, emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treasonous deeds, but by the grace of the king, their crimes shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them. Only darkness and justice awaits. As they are plunged down the open moor at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain. But will you be able to lead them through the dark and to freedom? that waits them at the base of Mount Grimrock. There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, my name is The Shadow Cookie. I am going to be your humble host for this project and I welcome you all to... Let's Play! Legend of Grimrock let the journey through the darkness begin! Ah, yes. Just yesterday I helped a young little boy overcome his depressions and it was a successful treatment indeed. Now I find myself stuck within these dark catacombs. Seriously, what have I done to deserve this? Technically I... I earned myself an award, a medal, several, a whole fucking container full of them. I helped a young boy, I defeated demons on Mars, I pushed back an alien invasion, and so many other things. And how do they thank me? By freaking putting me into this abyss. This dark, dark abyss together with three other wannabe heroes. Sigh. Yes indeed, being the savior of the world is not easy. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, let us kick off the project, yes indeed, Legend of Grimrock, video number one. Well, not really video number one, technically episode two, but the first real gameplay video. Welcome to the world of Grimrock. Now then, as you should probably remember, this is a dungeon crawler, which means that we are a party of four adventurers desperately trying to survive within this dark maze. Auto mapping is disabled thanks to the good old old school mode, therefore I will most likely get lost. However, right now I don't really feel like drawing a map, after all this is only the very first dungeon, or the first level of the dungeon, therefore it shouldn't be necessary. <laughs> I wonder if I will regret these words in the future. Oh well, let us begin. <coughs> First of all, here is a little tutorial of mine, since I tested this game out a little bit already. This is how it controls. As a dungeon crawler, this game is basically grid based. Basically grid based. Why do I always use two words of the same kind in such rapid succession? Is that really how you say it? Ah oh, well, nobody cares. What does it mean though, I hear you ask? What is a grid based dungeon crawler? Well, have a look at the floor. Can you see it yet? If not, then let me demonstrate. The team basically moves about in squares. Yes indeed, you can't just move about freely, diagonally, 3D or whatever, nope. You have to move around in squares. To the left, to the right, back, forward, 
that is how we move about, that is how we will attack monsters, that is how we will loot treasure, and etc. etc. This is also how hostile creatures will move about, therefore they do not have an advantage over us, unless of course they are some kind of horrible, terrible, evil, terrible, evil, yes that came out the wrong way, that has been sealed down here in the catacombs of Mount Grimrock. What else is there to say? Well, WASD moves the character tardy. The character tardy. <sighs> this let's play is off to a great start. Moves the character flipping party about. Q and A. Let's you turn. Whee! You spin me right round, baby, right round like a party stuck in a dark dungeon. In any case, holding down the right mouse button lets you look around. Not all that useful, however it shows the lovely 3D effect of this amazing looking game. Seriously, Legend of Grimrock has a beautiful art style, even though right now all you can see is, well, or can see are walls. Lots of walls! And a ceiling above! Cold stone floors! And a grating we are standing on top of. Hmm, I can see something down there. No idea what though. Very, very interesting. In any case, what is our story? <laughs> That is a good question. I myself, the Shadow Cookie, have no idea why I am stuck in this dungeon, so I'm not gonna question it. Hello? Um, excuse me, but can you lower a rope or something? I don't really deserve to be inside of this place. I've covered wars, you know. I've saved the world multiple times. I help young people through depressions. I slay monsters. I don't need to be down here. Just listen. Listen to me. Can you hear that? Can you hear the sound of the ocean? I can hear aliens looking about inside the ocean. Yes indeed, it's some terror from the deep alright and they want to invade Earth again. I need to be outside, not in here. The world's gonna be doomed! <sighs> Nobody listens. Nope, of course not. Next we have John Burnett the first. What's your story, buddy? Ah yes, that's right, I'm all alone here. These are only my computer controlled friends. They are not gonna talk to me. Yeah. Oh well, I'm just gonna give them my own personalities then. What are you in here for, John? Oh well, Cookie, what can I say? Why am I down here? Well, I'm just a hulking brute minotaur, but that does, of course, not matter. I was thrown into this dungeon because... That is a very good question, actually. Last time, I remember we were in some kind of car, driving away from a mall infested with trolls. Suddenly, I find myself in the Star Catacombs. What's going on, TSA? Oh, John, I wish I had an explanation for that. Lizzie, Lamia, busy busy, what are you doing here? Well, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I am not gonna freaking impersonate a female's voice. Besides, I wouldn't want to disgrace her with that humorous act. She's just down here because, well, because I don't deserve to be down here, and she decided to tag along. She doesn't want her boyfriend to be all by himself. Thank you, busy busy. Last but the least, Frozen Foxy. Oh, how I wish you were here with me doing commentary, because your voice is so delightful, always cracking me up with jokes. What are you doing down here? Well, I don't know, Cookie. I say you just, you just, freaking dragged me along with you, didn't you? Well, yes, that's kinda true, Foxy. But listen, we needed a fourth party member, and guess what? The audience is slowly growing impatient of my rambling here. In place, it is time that we do something about our current predicament. Let us begin the adventure at long last, one and all. Now then, this is a game purely based on exploration. Therefore, there is not a lot of material I can use to tell stories or anything. I could certainly come up with something of my own, but in terms of notes, there are no notes in this game. There are no books. There is no big backstory. Nope, all we can do is try to explore and survive. And that's what I shall be doing. Therefore, let us finally continue Legend of Grimrock Floor 1. So, right now there's really not a lot we can do as a party of <laughs> wannabe heroes, since we do not have any kind of equipment on us. Now if I could just figure out how to like open up the inventory screen, there we go. As you can see, we have nothing. Absolutely nothing, and oh dear. We are slowly getting hungry. Yes, I totally forgot, just standing in place and talking a lot is not gonna get us anywhere. In fact, we are just gonna starve to death slowly. What else do we have? Yes, here are our skills. Check this already, the lovely inventory screen. And of course, all kinds of stats. Blah, 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 with the bags beneath. Hm. Let's have a look at the other characters. <laughs> well, it seems that John is eating a little bit more. 
Well, what the hell is he eating anyway? Well, nothing right now. This is just showing how much he is close to starving. John, please hold out a little bit more. I know you're a minotaur and you need food. We'll get you some food, don't you worry. But first of all, we need to do something about our own situation. I guess I could explain how the combat system and everything works in this game, but I'm gonna do that once we stumble upon something that actually wants to, you know, tear our guts out. First of all though, oh dear, first obstacle of the game, what do we do about the skate in our way? <laughs> I guess nothing, we're just gonna sit here until we all die a horrible, lonely death, nah, of course not. Oh, what do we have here? Some kind of ancient elvish language? I can read this. I hope that made sense. In case you don't speak that language, choose your fate. Perish in the cell or pick up the torch. <laughs> wow. I, I, I never get tired of this little message. Somebody actually took his or her time to carve down something into the stone wall. And it's a simple message that starts in an epic way, choose your fate, but then ends in perish in the cell, or pick up the torch. Oh dee die, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do here. The torch looks dangerous, I think I'm just gonna starve to death. No, I really don't like the darkness, therefore let us pick up the first torch of the game. Huh, and what do you know, the gate has been opened. Beautiful. Now then, since we have acquired our very first item, let me quickly explain how it works. This is a torch. Duh. What can we do with it? Illuminate our surroundings, of course. Aha. And there shall be light. Of course, there's a little bit of a disadvantage to it. Well, not really a disadvantage, but a eventual negative aspect to a torch. It will burn out. And once it burns out, we are completely stuck in the darkness. You do not need to immediately activate the torch as soon as you pick it up. You can just throw it into your inventory and ignite it as soon as you need it. However, since this torch is now ignited, let us be quick about this. Let us explore our surroundings. Do we have anything of interest in this very first starting room? I'd like a weapon of some sort. Huh. Some metal hooks in the wall. Well, that's nice and delightful. Why would you possibly need something like this? These tiny bars? There's not even anything behind it. It's not like a shaft or something to, you know, to, to, hmm, to filter in or out some air. I have no idea. I guess spiders and mice could try to hide out. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, there was one square too far. Hello? Nothing in here. As far as I've heard, there are plenty of secrets in these kind of games. So by, for example, pushing random stone slabs, you can open up secret areas. Of course, I have no idea what the hell I am looking for. There's an abandoned chain. Beautiful. <coughs> Last but not least. Oh dear. Looks like Mr. Bones was here. What can you tell me about this place, Mr. Bones? Hmm. Not a very talkative type, are you? Well, thankfully, I took exotic weapon proficiency, which means I can wield the bone. A very powerful and legendary combat tool indeed. Nah, I'm just making things up. Let us proceed before this freaking torch runs out. Hello? Is anybody down here? Another light? I approve. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pay close attention to my surroundings, to any stone steps that seem out of place. But if I for some reason whatsoever overlook a secret, please ladies and gentlemen, don't be mad. Don't be mad. That's how life goes. Destiny is a bitch. In any case, here we have a second torch. I'm just gonna yoink this thing and throw it into my inventory. There we go. Oh my, another very dangerous obstacle. What could that sign up there possibly represent? Maybe it's supposed to be elvish language again, or some kind of language at least. It translates to... If you want to pass, pull the chain. Yeah, I guess that's plausible, alright? At least the people who built this dungeon were like generous with their contraptions. They don't just have like a gate that can't be opened whatsoever. No, they actually hand you a switch or a lever, or a chain, or whatever. Do -do 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 -do. I like it in here. Oh, and what do we have? Bed sheets! Or some giant tissue papers. Just what I was looking for. Oh, peasant's tunic. Well, I guess that works as well. <laughs> Who's gonna equip this? Well, I'd say our warriors need it more, since we are gonna hold the front line. Therefore, into the inventory it goes. Let's have a look. 
Huh, Peasant's Tunic protection plus two. Right now I have a protection of one. I guess that's neat and all, but not nearly enough to, you know, secure my healthy life. Therefore, let's equip this kind of stuff. Wait, 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 this is not... Ah, I see. Peasant's Breaches. Mm -hmm. Whoever left them here, I'll gladly take them. Sure, they won't be filthy and infected with disease at all. There you go, Sir John. Now we both have a protection of two. Well, not really. I have three, but it's gonna be enough for now to keep us alive. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ooh, what do we have here? A wooden stick with a stone attached to it. Let's pick it up. A cudgel. Hmm, to be honest, this is like the first time ever in a video game that I hear the word cudgel. Well, maybe I just haven't played enough D&D &D kind of games, but seriously, cudgel? I haven't heard this word in freaking ages. Well, I guess I'm just gonna equip it. After all, I am the tank with the most health. Makes sense, don't you think? It's a mace. <laughs> I don't really have any skill with mazes, but it's a weapon, all right, and therefore I should be able to... Wait, wait, wait. Accuracy minus five. Can't say I'm a fan of that. How much accuracy do I have anyway? Accuracy? 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 Hmm. I don't see accuracy anywhere in here. That's kind of bothersome. Protection, evasion, nope, I don't see any accuracy. Blar. Oh well, let's just equip this thing. Into my right hand it goes, even though I am left handed. Wait a minute, now I see. Down here, accuracy, so I have a minus four with this thing. It's gonna make hitting creatures a little bit tough, but oh well. You take what you get and don't complain. Oh, it's the same symbol, but for some reason it translates to something entirely different. Pull the lever. Ah. Oh, I'm a genius. Torch. Yoink. You can have one as well, John. Did I actually throw it on the floor? No, I didn't. Beautiful. Well, so far I can say that I'm greatly enjoying this Let's Play, even though nothing is happening whatsoever. I can't really say how loud the music is because I basically turned it down to 50%, thank god for that newly applied or added volume adjuster, thank the lord for patches, so if you think that the music is too quiet when at all, or the sound effects, please let me know and I'm gonna change it, fix it in future episodes. <laughs> oh my, what do we have here? How far did I play this again? How far did I test this game out? I think I got to the very first monster, which destroyed me to no end because I couldn't figure out how to attack. It's quite embarrassing. Uh-huh. Well, I guess there's nothing else I need to do. Stand on stone plate. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I think there's only one plausible solution to this puzzle. <laughs> nah, of course, this is not the solution. Nope. Things are getting a little bit more tricky now. You can't just stand on the plate, well to be honest that is sort of what you need to do, but no, you need to put a weight onto the stone plate. And what better weight than this tiny little insignificant random stone in the middle of freaking nowhere that's for some reason heavy enough to weigh the stone plate down. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Oh, it's stone. Well, a rock, whatever the difference. I'd like to give this my Lamia, because she could certainly throw it. As a rogue, throwing is her specialty. However, nah, for now, this rock shall aid to allow us to make progress. There we go. Yoink. Zip. Not a torch. You can certainly... You can certainly tell me that it's maybe not a good idea to pick up any kind of torch. Because, hey, what if they ever all run out? Then I'm gonna be stuck in the darkness completely. I do not care. What do we have here? A brass key? Well, I'm just gonna swallow this. Mm -hmm. What a joker I am. Did anybody get that reference? Probably not. Lamia, you're a rogue. Stealing is your specialty. Therefore, take this key and pick a lock or something. -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Yes, we are certainly singing along. Quite the mood we're having here. For a group of prisoners that has been thrown into a dark dungeon. Hmm. Oh day, I wonder what to do here. I just can't figure it out. Doesn't make sense whatsoever. I should head back to the starting area. By the way, well, our food meter is still pretty much in the greens. I'm kind of worried about that though. What if increased difficulty also makes the food drop faster? We need to find something to eat and fast. Okay, what do we have over here? Another torch, yoink. Let's take it. 
And the rock. Lamia. There you go. So, before we proceed, let me quickly try something out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Frozen Foxy, my friend. Let's have a look at you. Uh huh. Have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You perhaps thought that using magic in this game is kind of easy. You just, for example, have a list of spells, select one, and voila, it rains fire or thunder impacts on the enemy. That is not how it works at all. Nope, there is a special kind of magic system in this game that works via runes. Runes as those down here. We have nine in total. The basic elements, of course, we have... Well, to be honest, I can't really remember which rune resembles what. I think this is like fire. We definitely have fire, um, ice, maybe earth, and oh dear, this is not gonna be good whatsoever. Well, thankfully, magic will not be all that helpful at the beginning of the game anyway, so it doesn't matter. In any case, though, a mage can't just use any kind of spell he wishes, not even level zero spells. Nope, he first needs to find them. He needs to find scrolls and the like, and only then can he learn to use spells. Therefore, Frozen Fox's role is gonna be utterly useless until we, for example, reach level two of the catacombs. In any case, enough talk, let's use this key. Open the sesame. Beautiful. Now then, wait, 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 I just saw something up there. Oh, what are these symbols up here for? I totally forgot. That does nothing. Ah, the ZZZ symbol means that we can rest, for any adventuring party needs to rest now and then, just like you know it from Dungeons and Dragons. Of course, if you rest, there's the chance that you'll get attacked while you are sleeping, which is not delightful at all. What could this symbol be? Nothing. Well, I figured as much. And of course the menu, that is not important to us right now, unless of course we want to have a look at the tutorial or save. Zoop. Zoop. Nobody in here. Let's read all these gray things. There's nothing even down there. But of course we need another key. Figures. So wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that so many adventuring parties came down here, yet nobody was able to overcome the oh-so-difficult challenge of picking up the torch? You are telling me that legendary heroes were thrown into this abyss, and they couldn't pick up a single torch and that's why they died. Well, why am I not surprised? Also, if they actually managed to pull that kinda difficult challenge off, who the hell went down here and reset at all the puzzles? Is there like some kind of royal janitor who comes down into these catacombs and is like, oh well, looks like I'll need to reset all the traps again, yup, story of my life. In any case, what do we have over here? More... I'm not gonna call this Elvish anymore. Who knows, copyright infringement. I'm gonna call this... Grimrockish. <laughs> Original. <laughs> Translates to... Loose Rock. Yes, indeed, you need so many freaking signs to spell out Loose Rock. What could it mean? Well, thankfully, I figured this puzzle out already a while ago, therefore this shouldn't be too difficult. Loose rock, ladies and gents, do you see it? Not here. Not here either, but... Oh, there's something a little out of place. Aha! Yeah, and the fire dragon comes out and kills us all! And so the party died, and nobody would ever see them again. In any case, yoink. I need to collect all the torches, it's environmentally friendly. And looky looky, we have another key, just an iron key though. Pretty much garbage, so Foxy can carry it. Oh boy, he's gonna be so mad right now, he's gonna be like, I'm not gonna leave you in knife combat now, TSB, you're a jerk. That's for blowing me up in that worms game, you fool. And nope, not the worms game I uploaded, but another one that I sadly didn't upload. It was freaking amazing though. Foxy, did you swallow the key? There it is. Ah, progress once again. So far I don't say... <clears throat> well, not say. So far I don't think I need a map. Need to draw a map because the dungeon is pretty much straightforward. Yup. Aha, another torch. Yup. Nothing in here. What a disappointment. Yup, 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 yup. Do, 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 do. Stuck in the dungeon. It's very delightful. Hmm. Another key needed. Ooh. It's you! This one and all is our very first hostile encounter of the game. Look at that creature over there. Look how slimy it is. Look at the freaking like... What do you call these kind of things on its head? Like these thin 
antenna-like thingy-majingies. I have no idea, but look at it. Truly a devious, most devilish monster. This is not just a... Did the lighting just change? Oh, my torch is slowly running out of fuel. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it should be enough to kill this thing up there. Up ahead. That, ladies and gentlemen, is nothing more than the legendary slimy snail of evil. And this thing needs to die. Yes, indeed. Time to explain the combat system of Legend of Grimrock. This is how it works, and thank god I now know how it works, otherwise I would get eaten alive by that fucking thing again. If you want to attack a monster, first of all, in melee at least, you need to stand right in front of it and left click. Yes, indeed. Wait, was it left click or right click? Let's test it out. Aha, it's not left but right. You need to right click just one of the hands of your teammates. For example, good old John the first here is not carrying anything, therefore he can only smite with his fists. Yeah! After that the character needs to wait a little bit, then he can use another attack. Let's have a look at my cutchel here. Yeah! That snail is gonna be toast! Lamia could also do something. She could throw the rock at the creature, and that is of course how I'm going to initiate the fight. Now, there's just one more thing I need to mention after that we can finally begin our very first combat. <coughs> and sorry about that, my throat sometimes gets a little bit, little bit, little bit jesterish, if that makes any sense whatsoever. In any case, one of the key aspects to any well, not any, but these kind of dungeon crawlers is dancing around monsters gracefully. What does that mean? Well, you could just stand in front of hostile creatures and take damage like a freaking punching bag, but that wouldn't be good. In case... In case... What am I trying to say here? You spin me right one crazy words coming out of my mouth that don't make any sense. What I'm trying to say here is... Uh, let me just demonstrate it. First of all, evil snail. Taste my rock of justice! Yeah! Seven damage delightful. Yeah! And now I shall demonstrate what it means to dance around creatures. Where did I come from? From here. You can just stand still, of course, but instead we are gonna run away. Yeah! Eat that, devious snail. Yeah! Oh, busy you missed. How could you? Yeah! Where did I come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, I'm not yet a pro at dancing around creatures. But I can pull it off. Yeah! Over here, you slug! Yeah! Oh my god. Ah! No worries, party. I have the situation under control. Yeah! Ah! How did I miss? It hurts. Oh, I don't guess we're just gonna stand here and beat this thing up. Ah! We are missing too much. Come on, party. It's just a fucking snail. Kill it. Ah! It's killing us! Fruh. <laughs> and that was our first real combat. Mission, journey, action, theater act, words, losing me, you spin me right run baby ra. In any case, that was our very first enemy slain, a gigantic snail, and boy was it a tough enemy, we kept missing it, what's wrong with you guys? Here I am trying to make the party survive and you just, uh, never mind. You have to do everything yourself. So wait a minute, I was here already, wasn't I? Yes, I think I was over here. Oh well. Doopa 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 doo. That was probably the hardest enemy of the game, I should add. Yes indeed, the snail of doom, death and destruction. Thank god there are no more of them. And of course I'm just kidding. Lamia, pick back up your beautiful precious rock. There you go. Ah, oh, what do we have over here? Some clothes? Can't complain about that. And ooh, is that a knife? Yes, it most definitely looks like a knife. Leather pants. For now, I'm just gonna give my front line clothes to improve their defenses. Aha, now we have plus six protection. Simple leather pants, plus three. Neat. And ooh, dear. A knife. Well, the problem is I'd love to give this to my Visibi. However, only frontline fighters can attack in melee combat. You can of course switch it around a little bit, like this. Uh, one second. We're gonna stay in front for now, of course. Huh, I have an idea. First of all, let's see. John, I shall give you the cudgel, since you are the brute of us. There we go. And I think my torch just burned out. Did it? No, not yet. But it's slowly running on empty. Doesn't matter though, we are still breathing and kicking. 
I shall equip the knife. There we go. Lovely speed, attack power 5, and no minus accuracy. Now we should be able to beat some stuff up. Also, leather boots. Hmm, who's gonna get them little boots? I have no idea. How about me again? Ah, it's too dark. Why is it so dark? I don't like it. Alright, empty, empty torch, you can go die. You I have no idea if you can reignite them torches. Probably not. Okay, so what was I doing? Ah, yes. More protection. Boots! Oh, already plus 10. I like it. Now then, next of all, are there any suspicious looking rocks? Any secrets that want to hide themselves from my eagle eyes? You cannot fool me. Also, by the way, how am I going to proceed? It was a locked gate, right? It's too dark, I can't see anything. Let's try to reignite this torch. I hardly think that this can work. Nope, it's burned out. Never mind. Yep. No torch. There we go. Any suspicious looking rocks? <laughs> Maybe picking up that torch did something. Oh. Or you could just, you know, pull down the lever. Whatever. Progress. Any snails in here? Not yet. I like that. What do we have here? Ooh, a throwing knife. Looks a little bit like a kunai, but it's not. Oh well, doesn't matter. Lamia, more throwing weapons for you. I hope you enjoy your new toy. Chains and everything. Very exciting stuff indeed. Mm. Oh god. Hello there. There seem to be two of you guys. Ha ha ha. This could actually be a, <coughs> a lovely, lovely finisher to this real first episode of Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. Hmm, there's plenty of space here to just fight that one snail, I wonder. First of all, Lamia, demonstrate your throwing skills by, well, throwing that lovely throwing knife. Yeah! Oh my, and you hit. Amazing, amazing. Oh gosh. Get over here. Like good old, good old scorpion, even though I wasted my knife already. Get over here. Now let's dance around this. Oh god, this is not good. This is not good at all. Yibba dibba Aha! Fool them like a ninja. Get over here. Ow! How dare you strike at the almighty shadow cookie? Do you know who I am? I'm the fucking guy who brought down. Well, who did I bring down? Ah! It hurts. Wait, this is it. Oh my god, this is a dead end. No reason to panic. Yep. Aha! And the first snail has been slain. And what do we get as a reward? What's that? Snail slice. Ooh yeah, I always wanted to eat a snail. That's gonna be delicious. Over here, you dumbass. Wait a minute, Lamia, you still have the throwing knife? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh. Ah, dancing around monsters is somewhat delightful. Especially if it's just a dumb snail. Whoop, careful. Do not insult it. Ah. Uh. Don't let it smell your fear. Only concentrate. Concentrate on the enemy. Not concentrate, but concentrate. And it's gonna lead to success. What the hell am I saying? And when the hell is this bloody thing gonna vaporize? Ah! No! It's smart. It's outsmarting me. Getting outsmarted by a fucking snail. Yep. Ah! Oh my gosh. Foxy, hit it with your fists! Oh my god, he can't hit it with his fists. What are you good for, Foxy? Jesus, I don't know how to use your magic. Yes, it's my fault. Doesn't matter. Yeah. This fucking snail is a freaking long-winded fight, alright? Will you please die? Ah! Yeah. Jesus, this thing is indestructible. Ah! Come on now, you're wasting my time! Still alive? Are you serious? Busy, beat it up! Ah! Thank the Lord! We destroyed it, can you believe it? Snail annihilated! <sighs> well, now I'm totally exhausted. That was fucking epic, wasn't it? Oh dear, getting a little hungry. Hmm, <laughs> snail slice consumable. Yeah. I'd say that Foxy is gonna test this. Lovely, taste this lovely piece of snail meat out in the next episode, that is. <laughs> oh boy. The adventure is certainly off to a great epic start. Now where did I come from? 
Um, ooh, this is not good. Wait a minute. Mr. Rock, I missed you. Pick it up, busy bee. Dee -ba -dee -ba -dee, dee -ba -dee -ba -dee. Ah, more torches. Nah, I just wasted the torch. No, no, no. It's uh, ignited? Nope, hopefully not. And darkness once again surrounds the party. Oh god, now it's starting to feel like a maze. Uh, I don't like this. Maybe this is a good moment in time to just end the episode and prepare some pen and paper for the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shadow Cookie, and I hope that you found this very first real episode of Let's Play Legend of Grimrock to be informative, enjoyable, fun, entertaining, and anything else that can be associated with the term good. <laughs> what an awkward thing to say. In any case, Please like the video if you enjoyed it, that is, subscribe if you haven't already, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think, I like the input, I like the insight into the brains, the insight into the brains, I should say the, the, uh, this is awkward, um, oh my god, I derailed myself again, I need a professional way to end this episode before I embarrass myself. You spin me right round, baby, right round. I totally forgot what I wanted to say. Now I need to spin around even more to make the audience forget about it. I shall see you all next time on it all. The Shadow Cookie signing out for now. Well, what do you think, party? Didn't we do an amazingly great job at defeating these snails? I can already see us becoming the new heroes of the kingdom. The Shadow Cookie. Slayer of Snails.